Hello everybody and welcome back to our MLB Sim franchise. First year with the Blue Jays, if you did not see last episode, we were on the move again and uh, we were out of LA, now we are up north in Canada. So the team um, who's been dominating, it's been the Blue Jays and the Red Sox. But the team as a whole, it looks pretty good first year. We have Vince Villasquez, Aaron Sanchez, Willie Peralta, Alex Meyer, and Yu Darvish. Very, 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 very good guys here. And um, it's a good lineup. Our bullpen, lackluster. We have very good setup and closer. Other than that, that's probably something we need to work on. Our lineup... Our right-handed pitching versus DH, Devon Travis, Kevin Pillar, Lonnie Chisholm, Hall, Corey Dickerson, Mike Moustakis, Dan Banning, Blair Jimenez, Sterling Castro, who's somehow an all-star, uh, and Eric Gonzalez. Our bench, Bronson Denson, Travis Jankowski, Juan Ligaris, and Juan Gretarol. Our left-handers, nothing really changes. Castro's on the bench. And Gonzalez and Garris and all those guys are on starters. So it's a, it's a pretty good lineup. And we're going to see if we can, you know, obviously reach the postseason as our goal has been. Here's our history. 2018, not great. 2019, worse. 2020, we got 80 wins. And then we got another 80 wins. But the expectation, we didn't do any of it. So... The expectation this year, reach postseason, contract, win the pennant. We'll see what we can do in a sim, but ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are going to sim through the all-star break, and let's get started. Turn off critical situations, and already we lose Blair Jimenez two months, and that's going to be a DL trip. So, a lot of injury, well, not a lot of injuries, a lot of rotation help there and uh, right now we're on a roll the Blue Jays are definitely on a roll I think we can win the division I think we can go to the postseason yes it's very early we'll put together a nice little win streaks 21 given up to Miami though uh, that's not good to look at uh, right now playing the Royals that they're pretty good Jeremy Botts strained finger we'll keep him active Javier Dorda a few days keep active that's my rule uh, Boda no longer injured, so we'll auto-utilize him, auto-utilize, and we are through June. We're going to simulate first-year player draft, and we're going to give it to the, about the 15th of this month to sign some guys, and, uh, there we go, 15th, and we will check out all of this, nothing too, too crazy, training, we don't care, uh, transactions. Again, don't care. Sign draft picks. Oh, uh, who's good? Who's good? 21-year-old Brian Zapata. He looks good, but we're at negative cash flow. So, we'll see what we can do in the offseason. Um, but I would like Zapata. Really, that's it. And maybe Diego De Los Santos. Because no one else is really crazy. So, uh, we'll send the season here. We'll get back on it. Javier Dorda injured. Again, it seems like another finger injury for him. Let's get on a winning streak. We cannot do this. Padres are interested in offer. We're always going to look at it. Tyrell Jenkins for Javier Dorda, who is injured. So that's a little ironic. So we'll go to Padres starting pitcher. Tyrell Jenkins. Unfortunately, he is a starter. This club really doesn't need a starter. Maybe you, Darvish. But even then, we have Alex Meyer back him up. Corey De La Torre, uh, and for a center fielder, who does get hurt a lot, only 21 years old, so we're going to decline that trade, uh, I don't think it's a very good trade, and we need to start winning just like we did in the beginning of the season. Angels are offering us a trade, so we'll view that offer, Javier Dora again, and Jared Kirby for Dan Beverly. This could be interesting, let's check out our third baseman situation. 23 years old, 73 overall, and Javier Dorda, we just checked out 
Um, yeah, it's a tough call. We're going to take that trade, though. We are going to take this trade, and Javier Dorta now is no longer a Blue Jay. Reds are interested in a trade. Ruben Martinez for Kirk Medina. No, we're not going to accept that just by looking at their guy. And uh, this team, all of a sudden, now only won two games above 500. The Rays are interested in a trade for Corey De La Torre for Rob Segedin. We are not going to accept that, and we're going to continue to send the season. And the NL has won the All-Star game. Indians offering us a trade. Thomas Perez and Orlando Carvajal for Bryant Halpern. Uh, we'll see. No, we can't do that. We cannot do that from Cleveland. We're getting a lot of trades, though. Um, something we're also doing, losing a lot. We need to fix it. Twins are interested in a trade. Roberto Lima for Corey De La Torre. We're not going to do that. Some season. Trade deadline's coming up, and we are just, we're going nuts with trades. We're one week from the trade deadline. We don't really care about that too much. Uh, twins get... Phil Germano from Chicago, Lloyd Lopez, few days will keep active. We uh, we need to get on the winning club because this is bad right now. Uh, important messages, probably not that important. Trade deadline, no. Lopez will auto. Uh, we don't care about that. Let's go. Let's win some games now, Toronto. Uh, out for a few days, keep active. Uh, Larry T Trailer is no longer injured. We'll auto utilize him. Come on, Toronto. We can't do this. We can't do this. Um, Corey De La Torre, a few days. Keep active. We need him right now. No longer injured. Auto utilize. Um, we're ahead of Tampa. That's a good sign. We are ahead of Tampa. Are we ahead of Boston? We are not ahead of Boston. This is a big series coming up. We need to win these right now. We did not. That's huge for us. Um, we're right there with Boston. Yankees are going to win that division. There's no way around that. 92 wins already. Yeah, they definitely are going to win the division. Can we make playoffs? We cannot. Unfortunately, 81 and 81 is not good enough. Um, obviously, obviously, we want to make that postseason, but... Unfortunately, we can't. Closer of the year, um, our delivery man of the year, sorry, our closer, Juan Lopez, good to see that. And uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we um, didn't make playoffs. So reach postseason, check that off as a loss. The Yankees definitely controlled that division. Let's see how the standing shook out in the... AL wild card. We were fourth. We were three games out. Red Sox actually got it. So that Red Sox series, a big series there. Unfortunately, you have to win those games. We did not. So calendar, some postseason. Who's your World Series champions? The Cardinals defeat the Royals. And now we advance to the offseason. Uh, our farm director has retired, so we'll replace him. And all these guys, we retire retired players. Kevin Pillar, need to find a new center fielder or call somebody up. Steve Peacock, Casey Fian, you Darvish, we thought about him. That's why we were keeping uh, Corey De La Torres, Kurt Alley, Carlos Alfonso, Rodney Rideout, a lot of guys. But, you know, some of the guys that uh, obviously made an impact is you Darvish. So a lot of Hall of Famers here. Johnny Cueto, a free agent, he makes the Hall of Fame. Robinson Cano makes the Hall of Fame, Justin Upton, and Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. So congratulations to all of them. And uh, that is going to do it for this episode of Sim Franchise. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you for watching. Reach postseason, yeah, that's our goal next year. We need to do that. And uh, we'll go from there. But thank you guys for watching. Take care.